Hey guys, I'm Phoebe. I'm a part of the Apologetic Summer Internship and I'd like to welcome you to FWC. If this is the first time worshiping with us, please take a moment to fill out the red welcome card located in the seat in front of you. Turn it into the info desk into the foyer. We'd love to give you a gift to thank you for joining us. Due to an exciting month here at Family Worship Center, this Sunday evening, June 10th, we have our first step welcome dinner. If you're new at FWC, we'd like to invite you to join us for a complimentary dinner where we introduce you to our mission, vision, and who we are as a church. So stop by the info desk in the foyer to RSVP and then meet us back here at 6 p.m. to get to know our leadership team. 1 Peter 3.15 tells us always be prepared to give an answer to anyone who asks you to give her the reason for the hope that is in you. Join us in uh, the sanctuary at 7 p.m. for our monthly night of apologetics. Hope to see you there. We would like to invite all of our seniors to join us on Wednesday, June 13th at 11 a.m. for our monthly primetimers worship and luncheon. We've got the old hymns, a great message, and a delicious meal. And all you have to do is RSVP to the number in your bulletin. Hi, I'm Brandon Pratt. I'm the children's pastor here at Family Worship Center, and I have an amazing opportunity for you. VBS, our vacation Bible school this summer, is going from June 18th through the 22nd, from 9 a.m. to noon every day. And guess what? You could be a part of it too. Join us here at this link. Um, you can sign up to be a volunteer or a participant right at this same link. So go there, fill out the forums, and we'll see you. Thank you. Thank you again for joining us this weekend. Be sure to check the bulletin for details on all these events and more. We'll see you next week. Hi everyone, my name is Lando Rodriguez. I'm one of the leaders here at Celebrate Recovery Family Worship Center. I would like to talk real brief on what Celebrate Recovery offered me when I first walked in those doors. And that was, uh, I learned in the recovery setting, there's the power of accountability and fellowship. So I would like to talk brief about that. Uh, throughout the Bible and principles, you You'll hear Jesus talking about the threefold cords not easily broken. He sent his disciples out by two. He prayed for unity. He prayed and talked about the God body. And all this meant is we are not meant to walk this road alone, especially in the recovery setting. So the power of accountability, I take it to this. When Jesus talked in Matthew, he said, we are the light of the world, right? So I, I look at that as we are the candles. And what can happen is, as the candle flickers in the dark room, the darkness tries to surround you. But when you have accountability and fellowship in your life, you're going to have several other candles in that same room with you. And so how Celebrate Recovery works is we'll have 20, 30, 40 candles. And what happens is there's no darkness in that room. There's nowhere that devil can hide and get to you. So that's how I think about fellowship and accountability. Look, I implore you to come to Celebrate Recovery. Every Tuesday, 6 to 6.30, we do a Celebrate Recovery dinner, open to all. And 6.45 to 8.30, we do a bi-weekly testimony. We do CR lessons, closed group sessions. You know, whatever you're going through in life, either hurt, habit, or hang up, you need, you need fellowship, you need accountability. You need to know you're not alone. Yeah.